Hey, what's up guys? It's Chris. So, uh, Whitney was just going through one of the tanks we were cleaning in a random tank that had some blues and some golds and some wilds and just, just some random colors in it. And she found this one on the glass, which is a perfect thing because it is ready to hatch. It's like there's three babies come, trying to come out of the bottom right here and there's also several right down here on the, on the end that have just, just switch up started water, eating their way out See. and so we're well, lucky we found this and they didn't hatch into the tank it was just perfect timing and the cool thing is see i already see three babies there and they look like chestnuts to me yeah i see chestnuts wow maybe wild let's see what else is the, it looks like a light plant no those yeah they're wild they're wild. Um, and then I just snapped this in half like this. And we didn't incubate this, none of that. This was just on the glass. And we're doing a little fossil, and I just snapped it in half, and I'm swishing it around in the water. Swishing the other end around in the water. And if we get this piece of white foam right here, and we put it underneath it, it'll actually make it where you can see quite a bit better. There's a clutch right here on the end that I won't want to get smashed, but now that that's under there, you can really see, and let me see for some freckles. Um, it's looking like some either golds or chestnuts, but there's some dark golds if they're golds. I'm not seeing freckles, though. And we have some blues in here and there. There's, there's all different colors. There might even be a purple or two. I'm not sure. But most of my purples and stuff I kind of keep together and I, I, I don't mix the colors. Like there's no golds in my rainbow tank at all. Because gold is a dominant color and so is wild. And so is purple. Like if you have a purple mom and she's having babies, the majority of that clutch is going to be purple regardless of what the dad was. So this... We did zero incubation, nothing at all. We just happened to find it at the right time because we are diligent about cleaning our tanks and checking out things. And even though this was hidden behind a hang on back filter, we were lucky to have seen it, found it, got it out in time to put it into a breeder box because we want as little human intervention as possible, right? But we don't want to just have these all hatch into a tank that we're going to be cleaning with a siphon. Because then what are you going to do? You're going to be sucking up all your babies that you never even knew you had to begin with. So these are going to go into their own breeder box. And we will keep you updated on this clutch as well. We weren't expecting this one. And I don't know what to do because, of course, it's never a good idea to hatch every clutch. Never, ever hatch all clutches that come across your plate. Even... The largest breeders only maybe hatch one in five or even one in ten. Everyone have a good day, and now I'm going to put these into the breeder box, give them their first meal, a little bit of snail snow. They love that stuff, and it doesn't foul their water, so it keeps them nice and healthy. It's just soybean holes compressed. Alright guys, have a good day.